up in Class 3A District 5. Davenport Assumption, Iowa City Liberty, both schools entering the night with 5-2 and two records, but Assumption is 3-0 and oh in district play, and Liberty is 2-1. and one. So a playoff berth for District 5 on the line tonight. Travis Breeze joins us live from Iowa City to talk about this one, and this was a tight defensive battle. Yeah, Rick, unlike Bob's game, you had to enjoy defense and some very well-fed running backs in this game. But that is a formula that has worked for Iowa City Liberty all season long. Off the field, too, staff and students raised money for a great cause this week, and it was all capped off tonight at the Purple Out game. Iowa City Liberty students raising money this week with shirt sales and donations to help kids fighting serious illnesses. Sophomore Ashlyn Keeney was recognized on the field before the game. She was recently crowned the 2018-2019 Gatorade Player of the Year for track and field. Liberty took to the field looking for its sixth win of the season, but the Knights of Assumption stood in their way. Liberty opened this game up with a 14-minute drive featuring zero pass attempts, but it doesn't say anything in the rulebook about style points, so Maxwell Tafoya glides in from a few yards out, and it's 7-0 Liberty late in the first quarter. And at the break, players and fans waved toward the Stead Family Children's Hospital in Iowa City, just a few miles away. Assumption struggled on offense, but would a blocked kick late in the first half give them some life? As they came back from the break, Assumption put together a long drive to start the second half, and it's capped off with a one-yard touchdown run by Nate Schlichting to even things at seven each. But Liberty keeps Tafoya chugging and ends up winning this game by a score, 14-7. to seven. So points were hard to come by in this one, but the Liberty Lightning do get enough of them and improve to 6-2 and two on the season. They will finish the regular season off against Clinton next week. Assumption gets handed its first loss since running into Solon in week four. They will try to finish off the regular season on a positive note against North Scott next week. Reporting live in Iowa City, Travis Breeze, News 7, KWWL. Well, Travis, you talked about seeing this Liberty team four times this season. They've impressed you, haven't they? Yeah, I don't know if uh, I'm maybe a good luck charm. They've lost one game of the four that I've been to. But, yeah, you know, I, uh, Principal Kibbe, great guy. I've had, I've had a fun time at uh, Liberty uh, High School this year. So thanks for sending me, Rick. All right, great job tonight, Travis.